arc length and area of a sector. Let's start first with arc length. This is a portion of the circumference of a circle. Let's say this is our circle. BC would be point on the circle, therefore from A to C would be the radius. Same with A to B. If we know the radius and the given angle here, we can get the length of this arc along this curve. Following these formulas. So if the given is in degrees, we can have theta divided by 360 degrees times 2 pi r. We use S to denote arc length. If the given theta is in radians, we can have S is equal to theta times r. For example, let us find the length of the arc PQ, wherein the given angle is 210 degrees and the radius is 12 inches. So following this formula, we can substitute the given values. Theta would be 210 degrees and the radius of 12 inches. Simplifying 210 divided by 360, that would give you 7 over 12 times 2 pi times 12 inches. We can cancel this and we can have 7 times 2 pi, that would give you 14 pi inches. Or we can multiply 14 by 3.14 as the approximate value of pi and that would give you 43.98 inches. Another example, let's say you have this semicircle with a diameter of 20 meters. So in radians, we can say that the angle is equal to pi radians and the radius is 10 meters. Since the given is the diameter, we can take half of it and that would be 20 divided by 2, so that would be 10 meters. Following this formula, since the given is in radians, we can use S is equal to theta times R. By substitution, we can have pi times 10 meters. Simplifying, we can have 10 pi meters or that would be approximately 31.42 meters. What if we want to find the area of a portion of a circle? So let's say in this case, this blue region. So this is called a sector. And it is formed by the central angle and this arc. So if we know the measure of the central angle and the radius, we can use the following formulas. If theta is measured in degrees, that would be theta divided by 360 degrees times pi r squared. If the given is in radians, we can have 1 half r squared theta. For example, let's get the area of this sector given that the angle is 90 degrees and our radius is 8 centimeters. So by substitution, we can have the given angle is 90 degrees divided by 360 degrees times pi times the square of 8 centimeters. So simplifying 90 over 360 would be 1 fourth and then 8 squared is 64. Simplifying, we can have 16 pi square centimeters. Or we can say that this is approximately 50.27 square centimeters as the area of this region. For this example, let us use the formula if the given is in radian measure. So since the given is 60 degrees, let us try to convert it to radian measure by multiplying the given quantity by pi over 180 degrees. 
So to simplify, that would be pi over 3 radians. And the radius is 12 centimeters. So substituting the values, we can have 1 half times the square of 12 centimeters times pi over 3. Simplifying, we can have 144 square centimeters, and then 1 half times pi over 3 would be pi over 6. 144 divided by 6 would be 24, and then that would be pi times square centimeters. Or, we can say that the area is approximately 75.40 square centimeters.